只脚平青菜，平只脚平青平珍珠，红只脚不及只脚红丁珍，红丁珍，红丁珍，红丁珍。Giving my father some time to breathe into this. So my fingers are digging deep into the traps. Create a bit more space. What I'm going to do actually, I'm going to place, what I'm going to do, I'm going to place my feet underneath here so we can get this the diaphragm just to open up. There we go. Okay, Dad? Yeah. Yeah, you see, nice. Allow the diaphragm to open a bit more. Gives me more space to work on the trapezoids, the traps from underneath here. Place my dad's head on my chest and look really go into these traps now this is going to be like heaven try and get as much take much pressure off from the neck as possible so that this blood can circulate. Takes a nice breath, stud. So with my feet, at the moment I'm pushing my feet up like this, just to arc the back further for my father. My feet going like this at the moment. Then it's being relaxed, you see that? Arcing. Good, Dad. Relax, see? I'm using my feet. I'm using the ground as leverage. This can really help to circulate the blood up towards the brain. So what I'm doing here, you know, we can't completely fix these um, issues because you know it's part of life, isn't it? Part of of um, of age. But what we can certainly do is to help to relieve, to make it a bit more easier. And it's something that I I always feel honoured to and I want to do. I, you know, give my parents these regular sessions. You know, prior lockdown, I was was very regular, but then during lockdown, we we practiced self distancing, so I wasn't able to see my parents for like you know over a year, and it was very frustrating for me not being able to help. But now coming out of lockdown, it's you know try to help as much we can as often as we can. Yeah, he's starting to relax much more. There we go. So I've just put this um, towel underneath my father's head just to make it a bit more comfortable in his posture here. And just to recap my feet un uh, underneath here at a moment, underneath his back in this, in this kind of like situation. You see? And now it can really help to relax the traps more as well as the neck. I'm going to use a bit of oil. And 
and I'm gonna concentrate a lot on the neck today just to really open up this check these channels there's two major arteries here there's one here major one here there's another one on the other side so I'm gonna really help just to open up these arteries just relax give it as much space as, it, as we can so that the blood can flow I was really worried about my, my dad when he, when my mum called me the other day and said that, you know, he was really dizzy. And um, initially we, we said uh, to take him with the ambulance to the hospital, but my father said that he, should, he would be all right. So he just laid and just rested for a bit and he was all right. Was our concern was, you know, if you go to hospital, emergency ward, they make you wait for hours and not really do anything. And he said he'd rather just be waiting at home and be more comfortable. It turned out to be okay this time round. But that's why today I'm really helping to get the blood flowing. See now, well, I'm creating a artificial orbit for my father to acknowledge. So psychologically, Right now, his eyes are closed. He can visualize this artificial orbit I'm creating for him. Going underneath the scalp, like this, you see. Going up, down, through the temples. If you put a bit of oil on, it just helps just to glide more. I'm gliding, but at the same time, I'm still being firm. I'm not just fleetingly skimming the surface there's still some kind of like pressure involved so remember you need to be firm and gentle at the same time see i'm still being very firm as i'm creating this artificial orbit for him lifting the whole of the head you see My father's meant to be retired, but he, he still works. <laughs> he still works like driving passengers around us as like a like a taxi service. <laughs> he can't sit still. Man. He drives like sometimes drives really long distances. Damn. See. Going a bit more deeper now. Moulding the knuckles into the shape of the neck. Just being very malleable. Let your hands be malleable. Allow your hands to be like water. But firm waves crashing into the, the surface of their body. Firm, malleable waves, look. And I'm holding onto my own thumb to create that forward pressure. Do the same for the other side. Okay, now what we're going to do is add some bong. Bong, bong. Just gently. This bong is to really help the, to rattle the central nervous system, you know. Especially direct, patting just gently, but firmly directly on the back of the scalp. So 
So a lot of the techniques that I use, you know, they come from, they can be used in a more combative way, but in this setting here of wanting to help and heal, it's very useful, very precise, these techniques. And the recipient is, rather than fighting against you, the recipient is working with you in the sense that they're just giving in, they're just allowing you just to work on their body. No resistance. Look, it's starting to really loosen up now. It's such a delight when I can feel that they're Start, when I feel that like they're relaxing, such a sense of achievement. And I can also tell by my father's breathing, it's much more deeper now. See, just feel the feet here, just gently encourage it to go back. Is that okay, Dad? Mm. Right, with the scapula, the scapula, look, my toes are now underneath the scapula. You can't, you can't tell. <laughs> my feet underneath his scapula. Helping the heart, man. Give it his best. Take a nice breath, though. Yeah, and again. Good. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, do, going to place my toes right there and my father lie on my legs. I'm going to hold on to his arms. Breathe, daddy. Stretch it all out. Stretch it all out, yep. That's it. Move it up a notch. Push one little notch up. There we go. Cover your hands, please, Daddy. Then again, breathe. That's enough for now. Move it up a little notch again. Push. Towards the thoracic. Give your hands, please, Dad. And breathe again. That's it. That's it. That's it. And now I'm going to get the toes involved, feet involved, holding on. And as you push, the head's going to start following that direction that you're pushing. So allow it to have take place. We're on the traps here, but also these, I can't remember what the name of these muscles are, the ones that just hold the neck up. Being firm, but gentle at the same time. Firm and gentle. Firm, but gentle. And there you go. 
getting more movement in the neck really warming up these muscles so that the blood can flow is that okay dad? Mm -hmm. okay. there we go firm but gentle I'm gonna give my dad a little spinal decompression. See his neck is like really shrugged in man. I have to be really gentle this one. That's enough. Okay, mm, okay. There we go. So we just hold on to the, the cranium and just release a few vertebrae. Right now, let's go down towards the bottom. So we're going to help to circulate the blood going downwards as well. So just like the armpits here along the inside of the leg there's also major arteries as well the inside yes they relax that and now I'm gonna ask my dad just to breathe and then we're gonna open up we're gonna stretch open this here so yeah in the inside leg here where it meets the groin there's a mat there's major arteries there on either side very similarly to the arteries that we have in our armpits and likewise, a reflection of above, so is, so is below. This bone here goes into a socket as well. So if we're able to now to really relax the muscles around this area and also to give more flexibility in the fascia, it then means that this bone can sit more firmly within the socket. Many people, as they get older, the ball comes out of the socket. And that's why they have problems with their hips. They start having problems in the knees because nothing's nothing's connected properly. Just told my dad to open his legs. Got his foot here. I've been gonna gently encourage a bit more expansion. Just gently, gently but firmly. We, we want to have some conviction to help you. If you're gent gentle and firm, there should be no pain. The only pain they should feel is tension that's already there or any pain that's pain that is already there sometimes it's not registered for most most of us we have like areas in our body that we're not aware of that has tension it's only when someone pro pokes and prods it when we start realizing that ow that area hurts yeah is that okay though yeah no, no. now yeah yeah, well, yeah so okay. my father says it's, his knees are hurting. If his knees are hurting, I'm, I'm not going to hold on to that. I'm going to start holding low down here. Is that okay, Dad? Yeah. Yeah? There we go. So these are the hands here. Massive muscles. Just going to give them a little stretch. I'm going to warm it up. It'll really help your loved ones like this. We're gonna to help to allow this artery to flow again. So you know, you guys, some of you guys notice that my father has gout. <laughs> this is from eating well, <laughs> having a lot of red meat and stuff. But he's, he's been having it for many years now. But it's painful, you know. It's it's really changes anatomy. Bring it down. Whoosh. Bring this one up. I'm very aware where the the bolt is after that to relax open 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 there place that foot on your hip and lean in lean in and as you're leaning in the other hand is on the other other hip the other hand is on the other hip yeah so their foot is on your right hip in this posture here and then your other hands on their hip here but be very gentle but it might be painful here just be gentle and then lean in Lean in to open up this hip. 
leaning to open up this hip. Because when we start stretching these areas here, you're going to start noticing it, the organs are going to start to relax even further as well. But you know, it's a, it's a kind of like um, chicken, or, chicken or the egg scenario. One has asked herself, you know, if we, if we relax organs, will this place become more relaxed or is it vice versa? So for me, it's always like a both. It's always a yin yang. Even though I'm working here, I'm very aware of the organs. There we go. Is that okay, Dad? Yeah. It's a good stretch, isn't it? There. Yeah. Sister stretch. There. Yeah. And we'll bring this hip up. Okay. I'm going to avoid holding, holding to my dad's knee again because he might have pain there. Okay, no. This one's not that no, hurting? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it, this one's not hurting. But what I'll do, I'll just hold him here just for, to demonstrate for you guys. You can hold him to the quads on this side. Part of the gluteus maximus as well, the, the, the buttocks are down here as well, so you can hold on and just push gently, gently but firmly, just stretch out this area here to give the hips a helping hand. There. Right. Now we're going to start to introduce some movements so it's quite similar to what we was doing up here with the arms you know we're just flapping them around so what we're doing here we're going to flap the tail around we're going to help to flap the legs around assisted fl assisted flapping <laughs> assisted swimming so to speak got one hand on the foot to so control got the other hand on a pivot point and in this case it's the knee and then we're just going to Rotate this bone around the socket. You imagine there's a bone here, there's a socket here. Rotate the bone around the socket, look. Assisted. I've been very firm, look, as I come in, I'm pushing in, and then I'm pulling out, pushing in, and then helping it to open up more. So it's almost, almost like we're lubricating or warming up the joint. But we're including the whole of this junction, this whole of this limb is getting, getting involved with this movement. There we go. And then whoosh. Just gently rocking. See, nice torsion here. giving these ribs a little rub down so that they are feeling a bit more open in this torsion, in this, in this posture. I recommend leaving them in this posture for, for at least 30 seconds so that you get maybe three or four or five Revolutions of breath in and breath out. 30 seconds to maybe a minute. Rubbing the ribs so the ribs can expand in this posture as well. Going in towards the lats here. You're holding on to the wing. There we go. And what really helps is if you can, whoosh. Is that okay, Dad? Yeah. Nice. Nice. It's a nice stretch in that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Really getting his heart to open up this way. Giving the innards a nice little stretch as well. This is to do the muscle, the stomach and ascending colon and all that stuff. There we go. I'm just giving some bong here. Just create some vibrato in the spine. Get things circulating around again. There you go. Bring him back down. And then whoosh. Line the legs quite down. And this gets to the other side. Holding on to the foot. Put your 
the hands are to levering the focal point on this in this case it's the knee really imagine where the bone is there's a bone here and there's a socket inside there help to rotate the bone inside the socket rotating the bone inside the socket pushing rotate pull push oh there's a nice correction there and then pull there other way around whoosh whoosh depending on the person you might need scripts you might have to do it like a bunch of times but if you do it often enough like I said with the arms uh, their psychology kind of gives in they start to let go and then the limb starts to become much more relaxed because remember most of the time we are holding on without knowing like subconsciously we are holding on to certain areas without knowing so if you do these movements often enough keep repeating these movements eventually their psychology is going to let go And bring it up, whoosh, a nice circle, and then wham. We allow some rotation from this side. Just gently rocking, and then start to massage. So this side here is going to be do like the liver and the spleen here. Massive organs. And we give them a nice little stretch from this side. Sometimes you could bong, bong the spine. Holding onto the wing, flap, 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 flap. And then encourage the, him to open more. There we go. Is that okay, Dad? Yeah. Nice. Pretty good shape, this guy. I have to admit. But I do get worried sometimes. You know, it's very natural for us to worry about our parents, isn't it? But whenever I work on my dad's body, I always say to myself, oh, wow, he's in really good shape, especially for his age. Because I work with a lot of people, I kind of get a gauge of how bodies are. And yeah, my dad's body is really good for his age. That's it. And then allow it to just relax a bit more. So you see how we're giving the organs a stretch just like this as well. It's amazing. With just a bit of love and tender care, you can do so much. And I really hope I'm encouraging you guys at home to do the same, you know, with your loved ones, your friends, your family, or even maybe a complete stranger. You know, you might see someone on the street that might need a bit of a hug or a massage, providing they, <laughs> they want it. <laughs> So I'm rubbing the ribs here to allow him to really expand in his posture. There we go. So yep, so that was more than 30 seconds. That was about at least two minutes there. I recommend for you guys at home, you do it for your friends and family, at least 30 seconds. There we go. Okay. Right then. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plonk my feet. So for now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to plonk my feet underneath my father's sacred iliac, underneath the pelvis area. So my feet are going to be underneath here. And we're going to help to open up this area here. We're going to help to give it more mobility, a tilt. We're going to help to make it more flexible in terms of tilt. So by doing this, lift them up. Rock to one side, one foot's under, rock to the other side, other foot's under. And you see, push. Now both my feet are underneath my dad's sacred iliac. I need his pelvis. Getting close as possible, so I'm nice and comfortable, you see? So now I'm like this. You can see that, huh, JJ? Yeah? And this is very... Does this feel nice, Dad? Yeah. Yeah, this feels really nice. 
Let's give the shoulders a little move around. Whoosh. So now we're going to help to untilt the pelvis because a lot of us, when we sit down for so long, everything gets tilted. And then depending if you're left-handed or right-handed, you might have a tilt, but then like a, like a, a rotation as well. So it gets, everything gets kind of like spiraled out of shape. So here, what I'm doing is I'm going to just massage his lower torso, his belly as well in this, in this posture. So really helping circulation. So remember, it's just a recap for you guys that have been learning at home. When we work on their back, when they're facing downwards, that's to help their central nervous system. But you know, working with the brain stem and you know, the whole spine. When we flip them here, sunny side up, we're working on their respiratory system, their cardiovascular system, and also, if we're working on the organs here, the stomach, you're helping to ground them. It's stuff to do with emotions and psychology as well, it's, 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 it's located here. You guys will be very surprised but a lot of our psychology is actually held around this area, area here. I'll give you an example. Let's say uh, you feel that you have a heart heartache or something like that. Some people say they feel it directly, that their heart hurts. Sometimes if you are upset you might not feel hungry and that's because it's somewhere within your own body, somewhere within your own stomach you're holding, you're holding on. So a lot of psychology is held here. There's a physical place where our psychology is being held. If you can help to really relax the organs, the body starts, the person, the being starts to become much more full, feel more embodied, more, more present, more grounded. Is that okay, Dad? Yeah. So just massaging here. And every now, uh, every now and then, holding on to the glutes and just shake. So comfortable for him. And here, there's major arteries here. I'm gonna palpate. Yeah, so the major arteries here inside internally. Lift this leg up actually, place it onto your shoulders, and then look whoosh. So similarly with the with the shoulders, remember earlier with the shoulders, you can lift up the whole the whole of the leg. You see? And pull. How's that feel, Dad? Just tiny. Feels nice, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I wish someone could do this for me. There we go. And then just wrapping the muscles around the bone. He's really tight here. I can feel that it's really tight this side. It's on a bone. Uh, as I'm pulling up and down, my feet are doing this as well. You guys can't see it, but my feet are moving as well. Yeah, there's leverage. It's always leverage. Right, let's give this side a little break. Whoosh. Go on to the other side. There you go, how's that feeling? <laughs> She's loving it, man. <laughs> nice. Wrap the muscles around the bone. Wrap the muscles around the bone. Hey, yep. Right, so now let's give the glutes one last stretch. Look, it's pushing right up blood there. Look, so that releases my feet from underneath his lower back now. I'm gonna place my feet, everything's planted very firmly, that is. Place my feet here, I'm gonna hold on, and then stretch. Is that okay, Dad? Yeah, it's done. Yeah, if we look now, we're gonna really, I'm palpating here. 
uh, sending these little waves down his spine, but essentially we're relaxing the whole of the glutes like this as well. You see? And then, whoosh. And this is like heaven. <laughs> this is so nice, this movement. There we go. See those ripples that we're creating in the stomach? Oh, lovely jubbly. There we go, and then back up again. And again. Let me just do a little burst of maybe 10 seconds or 20 seconds. Some of you might be able to cope maybe five seconds, that's okay. Start with five seconds. It really depends on the recipient. That, you know, if they're very relaxed, it becomes much easier to do this movement. There we go. And then now what we do is we're going to pull our feet away very quickly, abruptly, so that they can land square on their hips. Whoosh! And there, look, the hips are nice and square again. No more of that tilt. And with that, with the, with the hips now I'm in much more neutral posture, we can start to work into the organs more. And look, we've gone full circle. We've ended up where we started at the beginning, where I was massaging the stomach. I and mean, if you want to, now you can do the whole routine again from stomach into the shoulders, everything is. So for you beautiful people at home, I really hope that you have learned something new today. I really hope that I have inspired you to help your family members, your loved ones, your friends. And please, if you have enjoyed what you've been watching, you have been finding it very useful, hit a like, subscribe, and until the next time, for my father, my nephew and I, the avatar known as Tao Chikai, I bid you farewell. Until the next time, Om Nidhu Om.